Okay, so I'm finally getting my spider box out after several modifications. So one of the modifications I've done, I've added rear view mirrors. These are just some mirrors I picked up, I found from a Goodwill, 650 for both of them. I just welded a, a stud on this down tube and uh, secured it in place on both sides. I've kind of kind of contoured this this piece um, so it'll conform to this down tube. Also, um, I put a piece of uh, foam, some padding in between there to help dampen the vibration. I think it should, should work okay. So I've got a battery in it today. Got a battery in there, so I'll be able to use the electric start. So one thing I have added since my last video, I installed the uh, Performance One kit, which includes air breather, new jetting. Um, I also pulled the stock muffler off, and I added an aftermarket muffler. Um, this is something I just found on uh, Amazon. I just welded a, a tab so I could secure the bottom of the muffler. And it's got a bracket. Um, so it's in there pretty well. Also, so I had to redo the whole throttle linkage. So in doing so, um, so now the throttle is activated when it's pulled forward towards the go-kart. Um, so I had to redo all this. I put in a throttle stop right here. Um, so if I wanted to adjust the throttle so it didn't accelerate so far or O to full throttle, uh, depending if I want to limit the RPMs, I didn't know how high the RPMs would go. Um, oh, also I did remove the governor. So yeah, that was another thing. I didn't know how high the uh, RPMs would go um, after removing the governor. I also installed 50, 50 pound springs here. So I am able to adjust the throttle stop with this um, bolt and nut. And there's a lock nut right here at the, which, which locks it in place. There's a holder here that I removed and I welded. I welded on this side. You can see I welded it right on bottom. I welded it right there. You can't see it, but anyways, so that secures the throttle, the throttle cable right now. And um, I installed the um, throttle spring right here. And I guess I can put another one right here if I wanted to as a backup. This was the stock spring. Um, this is an aftermarket spring, which is, uh, it provides good, good throttle return. Also, I put in this spacer here because um, there was a lot of slop because um, this actually went up. Um, and it, it caused a lot of... Uh, I don't know, it wasn't the immediate response because it was uh, actually going up and popping out. So, so whenever uh, it is throttled up, um, there's a, a much quicker response. So I've got the, uh, I've got the, uh, the reserve gas tank um, installed. I got this fuel shut off on from Amazon. It's a fuel hose that goes down here and then it comes down here and it tees in to the uh, the stock gas tank and then there's the uh, fuel filter. So that's about it. I'm about to take it out and give it I have a uh, 
extra video camera that I'm going to uh, check out the top speed, see if I can find out a top speed of this thing once I get it going. So let's try to try to start it. Oh, get the key out. I'll let you guys listen to it with the new exhaust. So here are the key. Turn. God, he's been choked. All right. Oops, I guess I should turn on the gas. That's what it needs. I run the carburetor dry. So let's turn that on. We don't need the choke. Get some fuel running down into the carburetor. There's my rear view mirror. There's this rear view mirror. All right.